Hi, this is uh, Dr. Kelly Miller, Saving Your Brain, and we're here with one of our brain training assistants, Eamon McQuaid. He's going to demonstrate primitive reflexes for you. So we start the exam from a uh, standing point, and we put their arms out. I just tell them to stand like the mummy. Most people know what that looks like. And we're going to have them close their eyes, and we're going to turn their head. So first we're going to show a negative response. So I'm going to turn the head three times. So when we have a primitive reflex, the more you do it, the more dramatic it will get, okay? And you can have a uh, unilateral or bilateral response. So we're going to show you like a grade one of five to the right here, okay? So he's got a little bit of movement there, okay? Now we're going to do like a grade five to the right, okay? Like his arms are going, this is really dramatic. So lots of times more subtle. Okay, same thing on this side. We'll go grade one. And you want to get a pretty full range of motion in the neck. We'll go grade all the way to grade five. So you're just going to grade that one through five. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead and put your arms down. Now we're just going to do a uh, symmetrical neck reflex or labyrinth. And we're just going to have them close their eyes and tilt down. So a negative response. Again, we're going to do this three times is really we and what we're looking for is sway so i just have them go back and i just kind of set it you know with resistance to their maximum range of motion okay so he's not really moving that much okay now we're going to show a little bit of movement here we'll set him here and we'll start to see a little movement back and forth and again we'll do this three times okay that would be pretty good not bad okay but literally, we'll have some people so give them a little more movement. They're really they're moving where they're almost going to lose stability. We have patients who will will like throw their arms up right here if it's really dramatic. But again, we're looking for movement, and this is something when we do on the balance tracks when we go through the canals. This will, this is going to show up and give us a quantitative evaluation. Okay, so now we're going to do a startle reflex. So I have them just put up. Well, hands like a bunny rabbit. I do a trust thing. I said, I'm going to have you come back and about that far before I catch you. Okay, so I'll close your eyes. I'm going to uh, clap my hands and then you fall back. Then I hit it again. That's a normal reflex. That you didn't really budge. Now we're going to show you a little startle reflex. Okay. All right, now you can give them the uh, Oscar. Here on this one, <laughs> the chance of eyes closed. Okay. All right. So again, that should be uh, that's an abnormal. We're going to show you later uh, the exercises to integrate that. So now we're going to get on all fours. So there's three tests: standing. Well, now we'll do the asymmetrical neck reflex, which was this one. But this is another way to do it. So we're gonna uh, eyes closed. We're gonna turn the head. A normal response is there's no movement at either elbow. Okay. Now we're gonna show like a grade one. Okay. So it gives a little bending there. It could be one side or it could be on the other side. Now we'll do a grade five. Okay. And again, this could be unilateral or bilateral. All right. Now we're going to do the same, this is a similar one as the one standing when he does um, balance. We're going to show lower back, we're going to put his head down, we'll see some humping. This is, or he's, there's no movement here. Okay, now we're going to show some exaggerated movement, maybe he's going to hump his back. Usually you'll see it more with this, when we go to extension, you'll see the hyperextension of the lumbar spine. Okay, so again that's the labyrinth for symmetrical neck reflex. The next thing we're going to check is the spinal gallant. We're going to have a negative response here, nothing moving. Now we'll give them a little flinch. Okay. So this is an abnormal response here. Again, it can be one sided or the other side. Again, whichever side it's on, it's the opposite hemisphere. The ipsilateral uh, cerebellum, contralateral frontal cortex. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay on your back now. And now we're going to do, check a Rudy reflex. So I just want to have them close their eyes. 
and we're going to come upward and we actually want to touch the lips okay so we're going to have a normal response there's nothing here now we're going to have a abnormal response so we're getting some neck movement I mean some lip movement there a really exaggerated response would be that they're actually turning their head if you think of a baby actually trying to turn the nurse okay and we're doing the snout reflex nothing here now we're going to show a positive reflex where we see pursing of the lips okay that's a positive snout reflex these reflexes are inhibited by the frontal cortex so many times with a brain trauma the frontal cortex or even in an aging brain when we start to see these reappear that in, indicates there's weakness in the frontal cortex so we're going to do a palmar reflex here and I just actually stroke the tendons themselves of the fingers like this and a lot of people just make a big X here I just go along the tendons that's a normal response when we start to see a little curling that could be a grade one all the way to a grade five you'll see total closure of the hand okay and again this can be unilateral or bilateral so the last thing we're going to check so again if he had a response in his left just stay right there left palm would be treating his left cerebellum and right frontal cortex so we're just going to take off the shoes here. So we're seeing Eamon's really cool socks today. <laughs> All right, so he's ticklish, so he's going to we'll have to hold him down. Here. So we're just going to come on the come around this way. So we're going to come on the outside of the foot, and we're going to stroke pretty right there. So. Most people, they're ticklish, they're going to actually go down, and it's, and it's very hard. But I'm just going to simulate this. If we stroke this, the big toe and the t it, actually the toes will spread. That is an abnormal, that's a Babinski test. Now, a lot of us who went through school, we used to think that was a pathological neurological reflex. We know that that's not necessarily true. It just shows that there is a uh, lack of brain development maturation in this area and all these primitive reflexes are uh, will reflect certain neural behaviors which we'll put up on the website with this information on this video